formally start okay Okay, good morning to all. <clears throat> I'm glad to be, be here again this week. Welcoming Sri Bhagavat uh, for him sh to share light on the subject of liberation, awakening, and uh, living a life in, which is uh, free of suffering and uh, with intelligence. So thank you, Sri Bhagavan. You can thank start. You. I welcome you all. Uh, we have already seen what is enlightenment and what is liberation. And it helps uh, for most of our actions during our life. But sometimes, The, the problem we meet in our day-to-day -day life may be in a different dimension. Sometimes it may be difficult for us to cope with the situation. So, So it is a challenge for ourselves to face the future in our life. Sometimes the future may be a threatening one. So it is a challenge in everyday life. So in this session, we are going to think how to face the future. If you have any idea, you can share first and we can discuss how to face the future. The future may be in many kinds. In our day-to-day -day life, we are facing many things. And in each and every corner of our life, the scope for future takes a major role. So how we have to face the future how we have to deal with the future, we have to think for a while. If anybody interested to contribute, you may contribute first, and I'll join next. So, uh, I, just, I just translate. Uh, Okay. אז שבע גבעת אומר שכבר ראינו במפגשים הקודמים מה יהיה הרע, מהו שחרור, וזה כמובן עוזר לנו בחיי היום שלנו לחיות חיים שמשוחררים מסבב אבל הוא אומר, יש מצבים בחיי היומיום כאשר אנחנו אה, עומדים מול סיטואציות שמערבות אה, החלטות שנוגעות לעתיד, מה שאמור לקרות בעתיד הקרוב או בעתיד הרחוב. והוא מזמין אותנו, שרי בגבת, ב, אה, לחלוק את הדעה שלנו, את ההשקפה שלנו, על איך אנחנו בחיי היום שלנו מתנהלים בנוגע למצבים שבהם אנחנו צריכים להחליט לגבי העתיד בכל תחום שהוא. אז כל מי שיש לו השקפה או דעה שהוא רוצה לחלוק בעניין הזה, אז מוזמן לעשות את זה. אפשר 
סליחה, לא הבנתי בדיוק מה השאלה. ש... איך להתנהל עם... בחיי היומיום, איך את מתנהלת בנוגע ל... לעתיד, בנוגע לדברים שאת צריכה להחליט בעתיד. כשאנחנו חיים את חיי היומיום שלנו, אנחנו עומדים מול סיטואציות שבהן אנחנו צריכים להגיד, אוקיי, אני למשל רוצה להיות רופא בעתיד, אז אני חייב לקחת כמה צעדים, לעשות אותם עכשיו, בשביל שבעתיד אני אוכל להיות רופא. אז... אז העתיד משחק, יש לו תפקיד חשוב בחיים שלנו, ו- ואיך אנחנו, אנחנו מתנהלים מולו בחיי היומיום, זאת השאלה. אם יש לך איזושהי השקפה בעניין. מתוך הניסיון שלי, שאני בת שבעים פלוס, Uh, האופטימיות והדבקות במטרה עזרה לי מאוד. זאת אומרת, אופטימית, דבקות במטרה, במטרות שהצעת בעצמך? זאת אומרת, uh, אני החלטתי שאני אהיה הכי, למשל לפני בית ספר לאחיות החלטתי שאני אהיה הכי חרוצה בכיתה, אז, אז uh, עשיתי את זה, ובהמשך ככה... אם אני רציתי ככה, אני קבעתי לעצמי מציאות, קבעתי לעצמי מציאות למפרע ודמיינתי את זה וזה הצליח לי. לגבי כל הדברים, לגבי ילדים, לגבי נישואים, לגבי מקצוע, לגבי למידה, הכל. אז את דמיינת את העתיד וחתרת לקראתו בדבקות? כן, ואם היה צריך משהו רציונלי גם, גשמי לשתף, אם זה לימודים, אם זה דברים שיעזרו לי מבחינת אנשים, מבחינת זה, אז גם כן שיתפתי, זאת אומרת, לא רק זה. כל הדברים מסביב. כן, עשית צעדים ממשיים בטח בעולם. כן. בסדר, תודה ריטה. גם לך, תודה. אההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההההה
அந்த கோலுக்காக ஒர்க் பண்ணதுல பெசிமிஸ்டிக்கா அதாவது நடந்த தீரும் அப்படிங்கிற மாதிரி என்ன எண்ணத்திலேயே அவங்க வந்து அதுக்கு ஒர்க் பண்ணி அதை அச்சீவ் பண்ணாங்க அப்படின்னு <laughs> and if anybody else wants to share their idea on this line they may also share uh urugesh ya from malaysia ah uh, urugesh you want to give your view yeah i, I yeah. just want to say uh it is not pessimistic uh, she said optimistic ah, so right. to make a correction uh what uh i have said is being optimistic is uh, good and uh, she actually said uh, okay with what whatever that the participants said earlier thanks okay <laughs> nice okay okay sorry for the wrong word <laughs> okay <laughs> வணக்கம் <laughs> 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 give it to uh, surrender that one whatever is going to come mm. uh, to in a mind or the total mind or the if you believe guru or god we give it to them mm. and uh, accept uh, full heartedly okay and try to be in peace okay the future we don't know okay <laughs> so that is we know like all is going to come so suppose mm. uh, near one is a uh, in some disease the disease can't be cured then we know they are going to uh, die or they will suffer so we can be ready and accept mm. whatever is coming thank oh. you yeah oh, oh thank you uh, okay yeah maybe maybe uh, tra- lanier you can translate uh, I I didn't quite understand can can you repeat again just a summary of it yeah the the future we don't know what we are yeah. going to get in the the one is the old age other one is like a, suppose our near one or dear one they are in a, a disease which can't be cured and uh, then we have to read to accept whatever is going to come and then surrender ourselves to the guru or lord or whom we believe and uh, try to be in peace as much as we can okay in so if i understand and you correctly we can do outside if we can uh, help them in any way we can do it but totally we have to be in peace and say accept and surrender ourselves and accept so, that is given god or almighty whatever thank you okay so we, if i understand correctly you have you say we have to uh, uh to have the attitude of surrender uh for everything that will happen in the future because many elements are out of our control yeah and, uh, and be surrendered to uh, god or the guru and yeah. accept everything in peace that's what you say yes okay <laughs> thank you i will translate <laughs> אוקיי, uh, okay. אז uh, הוא אמר שאחת uh, הגישות העתיקות ביותר שמתייחסת לעתיד היא בעצם הגישה של uh, כניעה. זאת גישה שאומרת שמכיוון שהעתיד הוא, הוא גם לא ידוע וגם 
חלקו הגדול לא בשליטה שלנו, אז הגישה הנכונה מבחינתו תהיה גישה של כניעה לגבי כל מה שיקרה, ולקבל את זה כ... כ... כרצון של אלוהים, הרצון של, ה... של הטבע, ולקרות בשלום עם זה. That's it. <laughs> um, I, I want to say something, okay? Oh, you can hear. Yeah. <laughs> You're welcome. <laughs> yeah, hi. Um, so <clears throat> I think that, um, you know, planning for the future is uh, a part of the conscious mind and it is uh, makes sense to do it. Um, and, you know, look into the future and decide uh, what you want to do. But um, once you've done with this part, then you meet the present or the next action with the total of your being in mind and not with the planning mind. So there is a portion that you give this conscious mind to do their planning, but then you live your life and you meet the next step with the total of your mind, not with the, the planning mind, which is something that can help but cannot control. So we have to meet the present situation alone. Uh, you, you mean by that? No, I mean that it's okay to plan. Let's say, plan. Okay. Okay. I want to be like uh, Lani said, I want to be hmm. a, a physician, a doctor. Okay, mm. so I need to go and register to the university. So I know mm. that today I need to go and register to the university to be a doctor. Mm. Okay, this, then, I, then I stop this planning phase and start just meeting reality, my day reality with the total of my mind, mm. which is going, you know, going uh, outside my house and going to the university and doing the registration and everything that's required to happen as part of what I planned in the morning to do. But... Mm -mm. my my be my um the way i meet the present is with the total of my mind not with the planning mind mm. uh, but the, the future may be uh, maybe a easy one sometimes it may be a tough one so in in that case what will be our action if the future is okay we're normal and you can go and register uh, that's very easy If it is very easy to meet the future, it is okay. But the, the future is very tough. So in that tough situation, what do you have to do? So if it's the future, it didn't happen yet. There is always only the, the current situation, the present moment. And you have to meet the moment, you know, um, hmm. with, with, with whatever you have. I mean, total, total of your mind you need to meet the moment. Okay. Okay. Uh, Lenny, you can punch. Okay. As Dani Amar the last kafato, yes, ma kom le le tifnun le. לדברים עתידיים שאמורים לקרות, כמו למשל, אני רוצה להיות רופא, אז אני... זאת, זה התכנון שלי, זה היעד ששמתי לעצמי, זה השימוש במיינד המתכנן, אבל אחרי שקבעתי את היעד הזה, אני כבר מפנה את כל תשומת הלב שלי לדברים שאני צריך לעשות ברגע הזה, אם זה להירשם, אם זה... לקבוע את הדברים שאני צריך לעשות ואני בפוקוס לחלוטין על מה, ש... על מה שצריך לעשות ברגע הזה. אז שרי בגבת שאל אותו אבל אוקיי זה טוב ויפה עם העתיד הוא... הוא קל והדברים הולכים בסדר אבל מה קורה אם ה... יש איזשהו סיכוי לעתיד קודר מאוד קשה שהולך לקרות, איך אתה מתמודד איתו אז. 
אז דני אמר שאם זה מדובר בעתיד, אז העתיד עדיין לא קרה. ולכן עדיף להתמקד במה שקורה עכשיו ו... ו... ולפעול ב... ב... ברגע הזה, כמו שהוא מופיע, ולהתמודד איתו. וזהו. That's it, שיבא גלעד. אוקיי. And anybody else wants to share your idea? Lanir, what's your opinion on this uh, question? I, can I say something? Sorry. Okay. Sorry. You're welcome. Uh, from, uh, can I say? Hmm. Yeah, yeah, Murugas, you can. You can. Hmm. Thanks. I just uh, want to share uh, from my understanding and my, my understanding from what Aya has taught me the whole approach of Aya's teaching is about living. Mm. Living a life with a healthy functioning mind. Which means uh, the very uh, approach which Aya has uh, taught us in order for us to have this understanding of a natural functioning of the mind is by simple uh, approach of separating inner, inner, inner world, which is our psychological makeup, and outside world. In Tamil, he has separated the Agam and Pura, the concept. So when we say that a future, and uh, once we have understood Aya's teaching, then we would not have the struggling uh, effort to calm the struggle inwardly because we would know that whatever struggle that comes with the understanding, if we don't stir it, it will go away naturally by itself. Hence, the energy that we conserve by understanding the system is using our intellect in understanding our outward approach, the sensitivity for living. So our living is not only from present, it involves a time which is futuristic. Am I okay so far? Okay. <laughs> so when it comes to future, we need to align ourselves involving step-by-step -step approach, planning, strategy, and, and in order to plan well, what we can, we could, by understanding the surrounding we have. And like what I have said, not all situation we can handle it. What happens when some situation becomes so much so that we could not solve it. So the approach that we should should take when the situation comes like to this point is after doing our best and we know that the situation will remain unchanged, do not take it inwardly and make it a struggle but rather go into the understanding that we have done enough and keep moving ahead. That's all. Thank you. Okay. Uh, Lenny, if possible, you can translate. Sir. Okay. Okay. Um, uh, 
מה שאני חושב שהאדון אמר זה ש... בסופו של עניין העתיד הוא חלק מהחיים, אנחנו חייבים להתכונן לקראתו עד כמה שאנחנו יכולים להתכונן לקראתו, לתכנן ולחשוב ולבחון ואחרי שעשינו את הטוב ביותר שלנו, הדבר הטוב ביותר שאנחנו חושבים שהוא הדבר הנכון, אנחנו צריכים לעזוב את זה ולהמשיך עם חיי היום-יום שלנו בצורה הכי רגועה שאנחנו לא יכולים. זה מה שאני הבנתי מפרה. Okay. And if you, you have any idea on this uh, topic? On this have... line. Okay. Uh, yes, I think uh, all the views that were uh, uh, we've heard until now uh, are valid and uh, true. Uh, my view would be uh, that, uh, of course, uh, the future is a part of our life. We cannot ignore it. And we see in uh, our daily life that uh, what you get in the future is what you did in the past. So if you work uh, towards something, toward achieving something, so you got it because of uh, because of your effort. Just a minute, somebody here is a uh, noise. Just a minute. Okay. So uh, there is this uh, conversation uh, going on for, uh, in the Yoga Vasishta that uh, Vasishta is speaking to Rama about uh, effort, right effort. And he said that, uh, and the Vasishta was criticizing the, uh, the view of karma that uh, everything is uh, destined to happen as it should happen. And he said, in our lives, we only see uh, that uh, if you make effort towards a certain goal, then you will achieve it. This is what we see in everyday life. And then he gave an example. Let's say somebody, uh, when he was born, uh, was predicted that he would be a, a big scholar. He would be a very wise man and very knowledgeable in a certain uh, field. But would he become that unless he would uh, study, unless he would spend many years uh, studying and making the effort to acquire this knowledge? So, so my view is, is it that if you want something, uh, in the future to happen, you must work for it. You must set a goal and work for it. But then you have to be balanced by, the, uh, by this uh, inner surrender of everything. So do your best and leave the rest to uh, whatever is happening. You have to uh, be in a surrendered uh, attitude. But in the same time, you have to make uh, uh, your best efforts in order to, to get what you want, to get your goals. That's my view. <laughs> okay. <laughs> uh, you may also translate to what I said. <laughs> <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> אז uh, מה שאמרתי זה שכל הדברים שנאמרו פה הם דברים, הם השקפות חכמות ובהחלט טובות. ההשקפה שלי על העניין הוא ש... 
כל דבר, מה שאנחנו רואים בחיי היומיום, נתתי גם את הדוגמה מיוגה וסיסטה, אז ספר רוחני שמאוד ידוע בהודו, שנקרא יוגה וסיסטה, ששם החכם וסיסטה מלמד את רמה אודות שחרור והערה, והוא אומר לו, תשמע, בחיים האלה של היומיום, אנחנו לא רואים שיש איזושהי קרמה או איזה, שהדברים אמורים להיות כמו שהם. מה שאנחנו רואים זה שמי שעושה מאמץ בכיוון מסוים, אז הוא, הוא מצליח בכיוון הזה. ומי שלא עושה מאמץ, אז הוא לא מצליח. אם אדם מסוים, כשהוא נולד, כתוב לו בהורוסקופ שהוא יהיה חכם גדול ומלומד, הוא לא יהפוך להיות כזה, אלא אם כן הוא ישקיע את כל השנים וללמוד ולהשיג את מה שהוא רוצה. אז uh, באותו אופן אני רואה ש, 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 שאם אתה רוצה משהו, להשיג משהו, אתה רוצה שהחיים שלך יראו בצורה מסוימת, אתה חייב לעבוד לקראת זה ממש, גם בתכנון וגם בעשיית הצעדים המקשיב. כל זה חייב להיות מאוזן בקבלה שלמה של מה שקורה, כי יש הרבה גורמים שהם לא בשליטה שלנו ו... ולכן אתה יכול לעשות את המיטב שלך כדי להשיג את המטרות שלך אבל בו בזמן להיות אה, בתודעה של כניעה לגבי מה שבאמת קורה לא תמיד הדברים ילכו כמו שאתה רוצה שהם בעצם אוקיי אני Uh, you know, I work, uh, I plan the future money-wise, I'll do everything for the future, uh, I'm working, you know, saving money, um, like many things happen in my life. Hmm. But, for exam- but for example, I want, I would like to have a man in my life. Okay, <laughs> really. <laughs> 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 Okay. Mm. So I would like, for example, to have a man in my life. Mm. Uh, but for this, I do nothing. I will not go f- uh, to the internet to look for. Mm. I will not look for it. There is no action that I can take to have a man in my life. I want, and that's it, but I will not do anything. So what I'm saying is, from what I see, I can take an action for the future, but, that, but just what my heart wants, just for the things that I have a natural drive for my heart. This I will do. I will be very active, but it's very easy because it's happening anyway. I just flow the wave. It's not me who is working, who is earning money. It's very easy for me because it is happening anyway. I just don't block it. But for example, if I want a man, for me, there is nothing that I can do. No action is possible for me. So what do you think? Okay. Bob Lala, what do you think? Hello? 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 அவங்க ஏதாவது ஃபியூச்சருக்கு ஏதாவது ஒன்றுன்னா அது பிளான் பண்ணி அதுக்கு ஏற்றாப்புல சூட்டபுளா ஒர்க் பண்ணி அதுக்கு என்ன ஏர்னிங் வேணுமோ அதெல்லாம் தாராளமா பண்ணிக்க முடியுது ஆனா என்னுடைய வாழ்க்கையில எனக்கு வந்து ஒரு ஆண் துணை வேணும் அப்படின்னு ஆனா அந்த ஆண் துணை வேணுங்கிறதுக்கு நான் வந்து எந்த விதமான வேலை செய்யறது இல்லை ஃபார் எக்ஸாம்பிள் ஒரு இன்டர்நெட்டோ ஒரு பேப்பரோ அது மாதிரி எதுவும் எந்த ஆக்டிவிட்டியும் செய்யறது இல்லை வர மணி ஏனிங் ஒர்க் பர்பஸுக்கு நான் எல்லா விதமான ஆக்டிவிட்டியும் செய்யறேன் ஆண் துணை வேணும்னு நினைக்கிறேன் ஆனா ஒருவேளையும் நான் செய்யறதில்லை 
ஒரு <laughs> you understand that you you decide that you need not work for that so when you think you can work for that you will work naturally so that is the problem most of mostly uh, the decision alone is important if you decide that you have some companion if you decide like that the decision will bring you action action from yourself you need not worry for that so the decision is important if you decide so company is necessary the very decision will take necessary action for that um lani can you translate okay yeah khat is ein can you shrash we said we now so we said amule okay Shri Bhagavat, I will just translate to Galit, okay? Okay, okay. As a... He just says that it's a matter of decision. That if you decide that you really want to be able to achieve a child, someone who is a friend of mine, then the work will come because of the decision. שזה אומר שזה עניין של, של החלטה, החלטה פנימית. החלטה, זה גם... מה שאני רוצה, אז יכול להיות שכאילו אין לך, אולי את רוצה, אבל אין לך איזו החלטה ש... שזה באמת מה שאת רוצה. אוקיי, אבל שווי בגבת, אני רוצה להגיד משהו על זה. אני חושב שהרבה שנים, הרבה שנים, I wanted very much to have a man in my life because of loneliness issues, you know. And the, uh, uh, with, the time, be, be, with the time, because I don't have, uh, because I'm uh, single, so I learned how to, not to be afraid and, uh, you know, it's my need for this is less and less because I uh, uh, meet my fears and everything. So today... My uh, aloneness is celebration, like nothing is missing. But uh, for example, if I want to be free, all my life I will go to the biggest teachers in the world. I will fly. I will go to satsang. All my life I put a lot of, of um, action for, for, to be free, for example. And sometimes against all the chances, even if I have to make a, a lot of effort. But uh, in, in my experience, I took a decision to have a man in my life many, many, many years, but nothing happened. No action, no, need, no um, drive to have an action. It didn't happen. Or for example, I wanted to make a movie. I was a director, movie director. I wanted very much for years, but no, I, I, I didn't. No action came. So what you say in my experience, It didn't help, even if I wanted very much and I took a, a decision. So what does it mean to, to take a, desi- a decision in my... Lanir, how do you say it? Awareness. In my awareness, oh. I, I took a decision, but no action, no, my heart didn't take, my heart didn't want to take any action. מה שאת אומרת, גלית, זה שכאילו בראש שלך כן היה לך החלטה במודעות? Yeah, I don't know if a decision, but I wanted very, very much. I wanted every day, from the morning till the night, I wanted to have a man in my life. And I think I took a decision because I wanted it so much, but no action came. Like this thing is blocked for me. It is blocked for me. No way to get in. Like no, 
a drive for an action. It feels that there is no action that I can take. So here, if you have decided properly, naturally you will have some uh, means of work, some way of work. We, we cannot in a, inevitable, it is inevitable. We cannot avoid our work to, towards that. So here, the lacking is, what is lacking here is that you have not decided properly. So it's so, if you have decided properly, you, if the failure will, the, the failure to reach the goal, to reach the end, uh, will make you, uh, give you some pressure to, towards the work. So here, you have not uh, decided so much, you, you, you are not giving more importance to that. Uh, that is the reason, that may be the reason. Ah, so maybe it is not. Um, I, I, I don't know if you heard this, but I asked, maybe it is not so important to me. Maybe I, I just think that I want and I'm not really want. Mm, it may be. It, may be. You, you know, it is not really want. You are what you want, but it is not really want. So how do you know if you think that you want something, but the truth is that you don't want it so much? How can you know? So, so if you really want, that means the the completeness. If the if it is incomplete, the very incompleteness will give you some drive towards that. So if there is no drive to that. Uh, so that means you want only you are not it is not a real real want that is that alone you can understand and then what do you trust the want or the real want like that you don't want what do you trust you have the crave but it's not happening so what do you trust so that here you, you have to give so well, the, the difference is that in what way you give importance uh, the giving importance is in your hand so you have to decide whether it is necessary or not. So if it is think it is necessary, the very feeling of necessity itself creates the demand, creates the want. Everything will it will create. So you ah. have to decide first. First you have to decide. So you say, I I want to understand. So you say that if I want something in life, I have the crave, I think that I want, but nothing is happening. So actually it means that I don't really want it. I just think that I want it because of the crave. But if there is no action, it means that I don't really want it, that it's not that important. It is not so important. Yes? So, uh, so whenever you have decided and the, naturally, the decision will give you some energy and everything and towards the goal, towards the end. Naturally, it will happen like this. So if, the, if, the, if, if such thing has not happened like this, that means you have not decided, you have not, uh, you have not taken the proper conclusion uh, that you want that. And is it in my hands to take the proper conclusion or it's not me to decide what is important and what is not. Maybe so it, here, it, it is in your hand. The taking conclusion is in your hand. But it does not mean that it, uh, each, each and every day you have to repeat the conclusion. If you take the conclusion once, the one no, that is enough. But you have to conclude, uh, this, uh, this I want. You have to decide. You have to be uh, uh, stubborn in your conclusion. Can you say again, please? I didn't understand. So, uh, so anyhow, you have to decide. The decision must be conclusive. So you need not uh, renew your conclusion each and every day. The very conclusion is, uh, if you take the conclusion on one day yourself, is enough. But anyhow, you have to uh, take the conclusion. It, it, it must be conclusive. You, you should not have any second thought about the conclusion. 
Uh, okay, Lanier, can you please translate? Thank you, Sri Bhagavat. Okay. כן, שמה שאני הבנתי משרי בגבת זה שהוא אומר בעצם, וגם זה מה שאני חושב, דרך אגב, זה שהוא אומר בעצם, אין לך החלטה ברורה ובהירה לגבי העניין הזה. שיש כנראה, רוכשים שם עוד דברים. זאת אומרת, שיש לך גם דעות אחרות, שאולי זה לא טוב בשבילך שיהיה לך עוד מיני. שאולי זה לא רוחני, שאולי זה לא... אין איזושהי, את יודעת, ידיעה ברורה שזה הדבר שאני רוצה. יש <אח> את הרצון, אבל הוא גם מתנגש עם עוד, עוד השקפות אחרות. הוא לא רצון בלעדי ו... ו... ומוצק. מה ששרי בגבת אמר ב... 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 במשפט האחרון זה שהוא אומר ש... ברגע שיש החלטה, איך את יודעת אם משהו את באמת רוצה? כי ברגע שאתה מחליט, אז יש איזושהי פעולה שבה... הוא אומר, זה, זה מה שקורה. אם זה לא קורה, אז כנראה שאין החלטה אמיתית שם. הבנת? וזה מתנגש עם דברים אחרים. מתנגש. זה לא clear cut. אז לניר, תשאל אותו, אבל... עד איך אני יכולה לדעת בעצם מה, מה צריכה להיות המסקנה שלי ממה שאמרת עכשיו? ל, ל, איך אומרים? להעמיס את ההתנגדויות, או פשוט לקבל את זה שאם יש לי התנגדות אני גם צודקת שזה לטובתי. זאת אומרת, איך, אני לא צריך לשאול את זה, האם כדאי לי לסמוך על ההתנגדויות שלי, לסמוך עליהן, לדעת שהן לטובתי, או שהן נגדי? כן, אני אנסה לנסח. כאילו לסמוך על ההתנגדויות האלה, שאני צודקת, החלקים שלא רוצים, שזה לטובתי, או ש... אתה יודע מה התכוונתי. כן. in her life is not, uh, there also are parts of her uh, psychology that may be uh, contradicting this want. Mm. But her question is, uh, uh, which, which way should she go? Should she go the way that encouraging her uh, tendency towards uh, Uh, finding a, a man in her life or she, she uh, will trust that uh, she doesn't really need that or it's good for her to be alone. So she's uh, asking. כאילו, האם לחשוב שההתנגדויות שלי הן לטובתי, הן בעדי? הן שומרות עליי, הן דווקא, הן למען הנכון שלי. She's asking, uh, is there uh, the other parts in her uh, psychology that uh, prevents her from uh, getting uh, men in her life? Should she trust them? Should she think that uh, this is for her own good, not to have a man in her life? Or she, oh, should she make an effort towards uh, getting a man? But, they were, but if you want anything, we have to decide. If you have, because all our decision happens through our uh, desires and everything. So if you are desire of anything, so if you need, so, so our temperament, if, the, if our temperament is not, not in need of any companion, we will not uh, need for that. But at the same time, We, we are in need of that. When, when we need that, the companion of a, a person is necessary for our life, then we have to decide like this. So, so it is in our hand. Whenever, so the first thing we have to do is that we have to come to a conclusion. 
if you, if you take the conclusion that we we need the companion of somebody the the very decision itself you know and after us naturally unconsciously the work towards that will happen on its own we need not uh, struggle for our work so the decision if you, the main thing is that if the if it is not happening if the if it is not have the result is not happening properly that means we have not come to a conclusion so we have to come to a conclusion first and the, if you take the conclusion then naturally the work will follow there is no okay. necessity for psychiatrist okay lanier can you translate please כן, בשורה התחתונה הוא אומר, קודם כל תגיעי להחלטה בתוך עצמך. אם ההחלטה שלך תהיה בהירה מספיק, אז תהיה פעולה. ואם הפעולה לא קורית, סימן שאין החלטה בהירה. אוקיי, תודה רבה. אוקיי, פסטרופר, אתה תגיע לתוצאה. אוקיי. אני מנסה, אני מנסה כבר 20 שנים. I'll try today. Need, the trying will naturally happen, but you conclude the, you are, you are, you have to be fixed, fixed with your conclusion. Fixing in the conclusion is, is most important. Okay. So, Thank you. Thank you. So we have seen in many ways how to face the future because the future is inevitable. Each and every moment, even though we are living in the present life, in the present situation, uh, in the background of every situation, the future is there. We have to, some way or other, we have to face the future. And how we have to face the future? Sometimes the future is normal and there is no problem in the future, it doesn't matter. We can very easily uh, tackle the situation. We can very easily manage the future. Anything we have to uh, deal with that. Sometimes the future may be a problematic one. So in that situation, what we have to do? So we have already seen our uh, conscious mind is functioning each and every moment the conscious mind is always doing and facing things but the conscious mind is very limited one so the conscious mind cannot have the capacity to deal with the future or anything it may unnecessarily imagine about the threatening of the future itself so you can Uh, unable to deal with the future itself. So it may be, um, so in that situation, it may feel some difficulties, feel some pain in its uh, mind. So, but if it, the total mind is functioning, there is no work, there is no problem. Because it is, the total mind is always in related to action. So it, unnecessary thinking will be there, action alone will be there. That is the function of the total mind. And we have already seen many times. But, but here the problem is only in the conscious mind. The conscious mind is always moving here and there, imagining unnecessary things and afraid of the future itself. So we have to, some way or other, we have to give the secondary importance to the conscious mind. So that is the surrender or anything. That means, so we are leaving the result and the everything in the hands of our total mind or in the hands of God or anything. So in this way, the way of surrender, the way of accepting the future, So thereby we are giving less importance to the conscious mind because not in, the future is not in the hands of the conscious mind. The conscious mind may imagine it is a difficult one. It may be a dangerous one in this way, unnecessarily torturing itself. So the conscious mind has to limit itself. So in, if we 
if the conscious mind place the burden in the hands of god or the place the burden in the hands of total mind so to that extent the conscious mind will be uh, very very easy and uh, so the conscious mind very easily to join with the uh, environment join with the actually what is needed and it can have some relaxation within itself so in a relaxed mood itself the conscious mind have the capacity to function so the main thing is that so the unnecessary imagination towards the future is the problem so we have to minimize the unnecessary imagination related to the future is very important for our day to day action for our the present action so for that either we can rely upon the total mind or we can rely upon god itself any so in any way we have to put the burden upon some other thing not we should not take any burden on our hand so that is the main Lani, is there any clarification, or you can translate? No, I can translate. Okay. As much as we have got more, but the short of the tuna is that as a in a certain way, I'm used to it. As as a call, we are not supposed to be talking about anything. We are just playing with the situation. But sometimes there is a נראה מאוד מפחיד, מאוד קודר. ואז המיינד המודע שלנו הוא אה, הופך להיות מאוד אה, אה, מוטרד לגבי כל מיני אה, דמיונות שהוא, וכל מיני תסריטים שהוא מדמיין שיכולים לקרות או שלא יכולים לקרות. ו... ואז Uh, בעצם נוצר מצב ש, uh, שאנחנו מאוד סובלים ממחשבות על העתיד. והתרופה ששרי בגבת מציע זה בעצם uh, להסיר מעצמנו את המעמסה הזאת של מה יכול לקרות ומה לא יכול לקרות כי זה לא בידיים שלנו. ובעצם uh, לאמץ את הגישה של uh, כניעה בין אם זה למיינד האמיתי שלנו, לטוטל מיינד, למיינד הטוטלי שלנו, ובין אם זה אם יש לנו אמונה באלוהים, אז ל- 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 לומר לעצמנו זה בידיים של אלוהים. אז הדבר המרכזי הוא שכאשר אנחנו עומדים מול אה, עתיד לא ידוע, פרובלמטי, בעייתי, זה... אה, לא להסתחף אחר המוח המודע והטרדות שלו והדמיונות שלו והחששות שלו ולהניח את המבטח, את המבטח שלנו או באלוהים, נשים את מבטחנו או באלוהים או, ב, או במיינד הטוטלי, במיינד העמוק יותר שלנו, האמיתי שלנו Shri Bhagavad, just one small question. Okay. Uh, putting our trust in the God or in a higher power is uh, understood. You say, okay, uh, this is a situation is not in my hand. So uh, God will uh, take care of everything and he will, I trust that everything will follow for uh, my own good. But how do you do it uh, when you are uh, you don't have the faith in God so you have to have the faith in the total mind yeah no. so, so anyhow you have to decide yeah. you have to decide the conscious mind has to decide but at the same time you should not take the responsibility we have to shoulder the responsibility in the hands of either in the God or in the hands of the total mind 
So the total mind is the actuality. It is not a imaginary one. It is actuality. So actually, in the conscious mind is very limited. Only 25% of the total energy is spending through in the form of conscious mind. So when the total mind is functioning, that then only the 100% power is there. So it is always functioning within ourselves. Either we have to rely upon God, but if, if you are lay upon the God in the name of and lay upon the God, we are lay upon one of our total mind. Anyhow, the total mind is functioning uh, in the name of God. So in the, both ways you can have. Okay, so if I understand correctly, so you, you say uh, even trust in God, it, it actually means that you trust uh, the total mind? Yeah, like, that's the total, total mind. So here, <laughs> taking the unnecessary burden is the problem. So you have, you have a saying in your chest itself. Have you looked at your chest? What? Mix and relax. <laughs> uh. <laughs> you have in your shirt, you have a statement. Uh. <laughs> mix and relax. <laughs> <laughs> so what do you have to mix? The conscious mind has to mix with the situation. So what is the problem in mixing with the situation? The only the mistrust. So some so unwanted thing may happen. If you think some unwanted thing may happen, we cannot mix. Our conscious mind cannot mix with the situation. So we have to have some decision. Everything will be all right. Uh, the God will look after or the total mind will, will look after. If you think like that, so we can easily mix with the situation and we can do the needful. So anyhow, the conscious mind has to work. The conscious mind has to deal with the situation. So it can easily mix with the situation and uh, uh, solve the problem and you can reach the uh, end with safety. Okay. So, As, uh, then I will translate. Uh, אז בשורה התחתונה מה ששרי בגבת אומר זה שאנחנו צריכים את האמון הזה או בחיים או במיינד הטוטאלי או באלוהים כי ברגע שאנחנו שמים את כל האחריות על המיינד המודע הקטן שלנו, על האני הקטן שלנו אז אנחנו מאוד... בעצם אנחנו חסרי ביטחון ומאוד... לא, לא מסוגלים לתפקד כאשר כל האחריות מוטלת עלינו. אבל כאשר אנחנו מניחים את האחריות על המיינד הטוטאלי, על החיים עצמם, על אלוהים, אז מאוד קל לנו, כ, אנחנו כאקסטנשן של אלוהים, כ, אה, כנציג של אלוהים, כ, כביטוי של האלוהות או ביטוי של, של האני האמיתי שלנו, לפעול בעולם כי האחריות היא לא עלינו. Uh, אולי זה קצת כמו שאנחנו uh, uh, נגיד uh, הולכים להיות מנתחים ואנחנו צריכים לעשות ניתוח ראשון אבל המנתח הראשי עומד לידינו הוא שיש לו כבר הרבה ניסיון, הוא יודע אז יש לנו הרבה יותר ביטחון לגשת לאותו, לאותו בן אדם ולהתחיל לנתח אותו כי אנחנו יודעים שהמנתח הגדול נמצא שם והוא יכול לעזור לנו בעוד שאם היו למעשה זורקים אותנו לאיזו סיטואציה שבה אנחנו לא ניתחנו אף פעם ועכשיו אנחנו צריכים אה, לנתח מישהו ו- והכל תלוי בנו אז אנחנו נהיה מאוד, אה, מאוד חוששים בעניין הזה אז העניין הזה ש- שהאחריות היא על משהו אחר עוזר לנו ל- לתפקד בעולם בצורה מאוד אה, משוחררת וזה קלה, היא מורידה את העול מעל ה... מעצמנו. אוקיי, סר, אנחנו יכולים להגיד תודה רבה לכל מי שאתם יכולים להגיד בפעם הבאה. תודה רבה. תודה רבה. תודה רבה. תודה רבה.